This video presents the new features and functions of the new firmware for the ADI2 Pro and ADI2 DAC. Enhanced Balance, Adjustment and Balance Screen. Formerly, when you try to change the balance with the remote, you got this screen and you had problems from a distance to see the change in the balance. Now, we have a dedicated balance screen, which is big and shows in big letters what you set up. New encoder filter. With some older units, it can happen that the encoders here, the volume and the small one and two, start to get corroded. And that means that the volume starts to jump or even in extreme cases runs backwards. Now with new firmware, we have a new function called encoder filter. This encoder filter is found in the display menu and can be set up from one, which is default, to five. And it will solve even the worst cases. DC protection. The ADA2 Pro and DAC both include DC protection for the headphone outputs. Very important to protect the sensitive headphones from being destroyed by a DC component in the output signal. Now we added digital DC protection, which analyzes the digital input signal. Uh, we had to find out that some signals indeed have a lot of DC, and if you amplify this either by ramping up the volume or by uh, getting more bass by the equalizer and the bass and treble settings, it can be quite um, dangerous for the phones and the line outputs. So digital DC protection uh, solves that problem and I can showcase this here very easily. I start a song that indeed does have a lot of DC in it and uh, you will soon see how the displays here react. As soon as the DC on the digital input signal is gone, the unit returns to normal operation. Extended horizontal metering. The horizontal meter below the spectrum analyzer can usually be set to post FX, pre FX, or dual mode. It shows both the input and the output signal from the processor. But now, if you go to the display section and then scroll down to horizontal meter, you now see the additional mode PostFX DBU. That means the level meter numbers on the right side now show the exact peak level in DBU. Storing the base and travel setting in the parametric equalizer preset. This new function extends the 5-band parametric equalizer to basically a 7-band equalizer by incorporating the base and travel settings. It's very user-friendly because you can load the whole state by the parametric equalizer preset in one step. The base and treble settings are always stored within the parametric equalizer preset, but only loaded if you go into the EQ setting menu and then change load base treble with preset to on. Swapping equalizer presets. This new function allows you to change the order of the presets that you saved within the unit. You can easily swap one preset with another one, and you can choose both which one you want to swap. Selecting equalizer presets with a remote. It's now possible to use the remap functionality for both keys and the remote to assign equalizer presets to these. So for example here, equalizer preset 5, equalizer preset 6, easy loaded from your chair. Additional colors for the analyzer screen. To the existing green, cyan and amber colors, we added monochrome, which is like black and white, red and an orange tone. Lock keys. This new function allows you to lock the whole unit, except for the volume control, so nobody can change settings. It's easy to do. Go into the display setup menu there is an entry called Lock User Interface and set it to Remote, Keys or Remote and Keys. Now every time you hit a button on the device you get a warning message Keys locked or with a remote Infrared Remote locked. The Lock Keys function is unlocked by pressing Encoder 1 for one second. Auto Standby is a new function that turns off the unit after 30 minutes of inactivity both for the audio signal and for the controls on the unit itself. 
So if nothing happens, after 30 minutes, the unit will enter standby mode. New toggle options. Toggling is pressing the volume button for more than one second, and the unit will toggle between different outputs according to the setting that you have chosen in the menu Setup Phones Toggle Phones Line. The new option is called Line Digital. That means the unit toggles between line output on the back and the digital outputs. This is very useful, for example, if you have uh, uh, digitally fed active loudspeakers, monitors. If you plug in a headphone on the front, it will toggle between the headphone and the digital output. This is a new function that wasn't available before. The second new toggle function is called Plugged. The unit toggles between whatever is plugged in. XLR is always one of these choices, and then phones 1, 2 and 3, 4. So if you just plug in phones 1, 2, you will toggle between XLR output and phones 1, 2. If you plug in 3, 4, between 3, 4 and the XLR output. And if you plug everything, you will toggle like in the circle between all three. Full USB loopback implementation for the ADI2 Pro. The ADI2 Pro can now send all its analog output signals back to the USB recording side on up to three different stereo channels, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6. This USB loopback signal can come from pre-FX, post-FX, and to avoid overload, it can even be processed with minus 6 dB volume. This is very useful in certain applications. For example, here with Digicheck NG on the Mac, I can now easily use the playback signal to send it to the record side and show the signal on Digicheck. Permanent dual volume screen. The dual volume screen comes up when you press the volume button two times. And it allows you to adjust both stereo outputs simultaneously. Now if you go out of this screen with a different button, the next time you press volume, it will be directly up. Selectable DC filter for the ADI2 Pro's analog input. The new firmware allows the user to select between different DC filter methods for the analog input side. In the menu I.O., go down to DC filter and you can see Auto, which is the former default, ADC, which is the DC filter built into the ADC chip itself, RME, which is our own method for DC filtering, and NON. It's completely turned off. I hope you liked this small and quick overview of the new functions and features in the ADI2 Pro and ADI2 Duck firmware. There's a lot more to it. More features, more functions, more fixes, some improvements. If you want to know all the details, join us in the RME forum. And don't forget to download the new manual, which is already updated. Thank you.